My son served seven months in Afghanistan, and uh, he said that once the U.S. leaves, the country will collapse. That's his opinion. But based on what you're saying about the moral imperative of not encouraging corruption, I have a, a hypothesis or a question I'd like to answer. Maybe the United States should just get out of Afghanistan because it's a source of corruption for the society. I actually have not worked on Afghanistan since the end of 2011. And the reason for that is because I believed and still believe that there are two underlying drivers of what's going wrong in Afghanistan. One is the corruption of the Afghan government and our real and perceived role enabling that corruption. And the other is Pakistan, which is basically ginning up the Taliban insurgency. So it's as though we had been subsidizing North Vietnam to the tune of a billion dollars a year. Um, that's what's going on right now. The US government in 2011 made a pretty explicit decision not to address either of those issues. At which point I said, well then, there's nothing more I can do to help here. There's, there's nothing more. And so on some level, so long as the US, refuses to, US government refuses to address these two non-military drivers, one is a, I mean, they're both basically diplomatic drivers of the conflict. If the US government refuses to address either of those, then I don't see why your son should be laying his body across the railroad tracks to prevent the thing coming apart. Why should he be making up for, frankly, the fecklessness of people who sit around the table in the Oval Office. And I don't mean by that specifically the president. I mean the dozen or so people, and I work for one of them, um, who make all the decisions on this stuff. And to be fair, my guy, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, was the one flogging the corruption horse. And he's also the guy, finally, it took him a long time, but finally, who said the Taliban are a virtual arm of the Pakistani government. He said that to the Senate um, Armed Services Committee. And that got immediately uh, rolled back after he said that, instead of that being opening some space for a different relationship with Pakistan. So it's been a real, it was a real education for me to be working for a military guy who basically he kept saying, why, when we go into the, when we have a principals committee meeting, Everyone has an opinion about how many men and women in uniform ought to be doing what. Everyone in the room, I'm the only guy wearing a uniform in the room, but everybody else in the room has something to say about that. But when I say, could we please talk about corruption in Afghanistan? The, I cannot generate a conversation.